It started there in the Billy Graham meeting. When I came to Jesus, I felt immediately that night that I must share Jesus. It was the greatest experience of my life. And so it really started in that high school a little more than 60 years ago. In fact, one of the earliest meetings, 125 people stood to believe in Jesus and then started evangelizing New York City. I was still in business selling these fire extinguishers, so I went across the state setting up agents and giving out gospels, a baby Christian. And then I went to Maryville College, and that's where I met Dale, who was really uh, a mentor. It was then I went for this day of prayer. Different things were mounting up that I'd seen, that I had felt, where I thought Western Europe has to be much more in the equation. The church has to be much more in the equation. And in this day of prayer, God gave me this name, Operation Mobilization. I shared that when I got back to Spain in another prayer retreat in the mountains. And the Spaniards agreed, let's go for it. And Operation Mobilization was born. Our general vision wasn't for people to stay with us very long, but to be with us for a while, to catch our burden about the nations of the world, represented by this uh, globe, and of course my global jacket, but our passion was to see people transformed, discipled, built up in Christ, and then sent into all the major missions of the world and back to their home churches. 150,000 people have had that experience since three of us went to Mexico in 1957. Isn't that amazing? Because one woman believed the word of God. One woman prayed from Matthew 9 to the Lord of the harvest to send forth workers. Yeah, there were many times of different doubts. Keep in mind, I was coordinating the whole work at the same time, so I couldn't give that much time. But I visited various ships, and the great practical moment of increased faith when I realized old ships, we were into old vehicles, we repaired them ourselves. We didn't have hardly any money. And living by faith, selling our possessions just to keep going. Somehow, if a character like me, with my weaknesses and struggles, can persevere and now at 82 years of age be serving him full time across the world, then I believe anyone can persevere. And if I can be of any help, I read every email personally, george.berwer at om.org. I'm happy to pray for you and happy to send you also our gift book pack. So we got together, we had prayer together often. And I remember uh, he had a ministry in the jail and I remember one time him coming back from the jail and saying, praise the Lord, all the prisoners have accepted Jesus. Now we have to pray for the guards. <laughs> What's the thing that you think, thank you, God, uh, as I've lived my life so far, this is what I'm most thankful for when it comes to OM? Well, I think it's uh, firstly uh, my wife and the people that I've been privileged to work with. And... Uh, That's why I'm crying, because people are so important. So I thank the Lord for the team, the people, including you new people. And um, I thank the Lord for Dale sticking with me and others. So many people completely loyal, including Peter Maiden especially. And then it's from 1985 on, uh, without Peter Maiden, I'm not in win. I'm not sure I would have made it. It's just growing so fast and so many complexities. And of course, we all celebrate now that that mantle is on uh, Lawrence Tong to uh, press on. Yeah, so much to be thankful for. But I just, with all my heart, want to affirm OM today. And I'm 100% committed to all of you to serve until he takes me 